All right, Willa, so which is which? Uh, my favorite has been Britaliza. <laughs> which is which, Willa? <laughs> <laughs> That's also caught my attention, uh, breathe Eliza. Well, as I always say, some of these words are not commonly used in you know, day-to-day -day communication and all that. And this is the device used by the police to measure the amount of alcohol in a driver's breath. So you say breathalyzer, breathalyzer. You can also say breathalyzer, but breathe Eliza, breathe Eliza and all that, we should avoid those. Breathalyzer or Breathalyzer. 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 Yes. All right, Willis. I, I hope they got it. I also got it. Uh, so let's just move on to other words. Um, how do you pronounce um, a physician who specializes in the branch of medicine devoted to diagnose mental disorders? Is it psychiatrist, psychiatrist, psychiatrist? Which is which, Willis? No. You say psychiatrist, psychiatrist. Now, the tricky part of it is when we come to the adjective that is psychiatric. You don't say psychiatric. You say psychiatric. psychiatric. But we have psychiatrist, that is the doctor, and you also say psychiatry. What about uh, psychiatry? Okay, it's psychiatry, not psychiatry. You've yes, confused psychiatry. me. psychiatry. Really. The adjective is psychiatric. Psychiatric. All right, got it. So this word, the other word that I have, Willis, it's a bit um, long. It's the transplantation of living cell tissues or organs from one species to another. Is it xenotransplantation, xenotransplantation, xenotransplantation? Which is which? Ashley you pronounced it correctly or the right way when you started. That is xeno. You say xenotransplantation, xenotransplantation. Now that X takes the voiced sound Z, just like in xylophone, xylem, or xenophobia. But you say xenotransplantation. All right. All right, Willis. Now, there's this other yes. word that is very common. It has been very common in the past few weeks. A person who helps another commit a crime. Accomplice, accomplice, accomplice. Accomplice and accomplice, no. You say accomplice. Accomplice, accomplice with letter O taking what we call the mid-central sound, uh. Right. Accomplice. Just right. like you say to accomplish. That is, when you're talking about, you know, uh, finishing something, 
for completing that which you have started, you say to accomplish, that is to succeed in doing or completing something. Mm -hmm. And you also say accomplice, not accomplice and not accomplice. Accomplice, okay. All right, Willis. What about the act of removing uncertainty of a meaning? Is it this ambiguet, this ambiguet, this ambiguat? Uh, which is a uh, tricky one that is a yeah. very tricky one Ashley uh, when we talk in fact that word is uh, a technical word and you say this ambiguate this ambiguate a bit tricky this remember we also say ambiguity not ambiguity Ambi ambiguous not ambiguous this ambiguate not this ambiguate this ambiguate that's right, Willis? Yes. All right. What about relating something to angels? Is it angelic, angelic, angelic? We have an angel, mm -hmm. but you don't say angelic, the way some of us find ourselves saying locally. It's angelic. And then that primary stress, jelic. Angelic. Just like we can say angelic smile. Yes. All right, Willis. What about um, having humorous or witty conversations? I don't want even to try pronouncing this. Let me spell it for you. B-A-D-I-N-A-G-E. What is it? Oh, you talk or you are talking about badinage. 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 Don't say badinage. <laughs> Many people would find themselves saying badinage. That is B-A-D-I-N-A-G-E. Badinage. Yes, badinage. 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 Just okay. like you say espionage. Don't say espionage. 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 Badinage. 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 All right. Badinage, espionage. What about an object with four sides? Ashley. Badinage. Ashley. Badinage. Let us get the sound right. All right. Z. 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 Not j. So it's z. badinage. Badinage. Espionage. Yes. Badinage. All right, Willis, I hope I got that it this Ashley. time. All right, um, so yes. what about an object with four sides? We, we spoke about this word, we pronounced it so much in school, quadrilateral, quadrilateral. I'm oh, confused. you say quad, quadrilateral, quad. quadrilateral. Quad. That is in geometry, quadrilateral. Okay. All right, and what about the skill? All right, Willis. What about the skill or expertise in a particular activity or field? Prowess? Prowess? Oh, prowess. Pra prowess. prowess. Many people say prowess, okay. but you don't say prowess. You say prow. Prowess. Prow. And you also say eyebrows, not eyebrows. You also say prowl, not prowl. Prowess. 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 Don't prowess. have that stress. Wes. Okay. Prowess. Prowess. Okay. Prowess. Eyebrows. Right, Willis? All right. So... Oh, we go to feedback straight? Yes, Willis. Okay. Now we have Mohafanki of Wajir or Wajia. You say kautau. To kautau to somebody or to kautau to something. That is to show too much respect or obedience. Felix Asete anecdote and feud pamela rombo of mombasa fatal fatal not fatal and fatality not fatality jonathan okwemba of kawangware nairobi tamba that is in music t-i-m-b-r-e tamba not timba timba is t-i-m-b-e-r chantel samara of pace academy chantel samara of pace academy you say parent and the plural is Parents, parents and parent. Albert Ekirapa, a person who depends on another person for food, money, or a home, is a dependent, dependent. But remember, in both American and British English, you can also use the word dependent. Though dependent has a wider you know, scope or context in which you can use it. But dependent is that person who depends on another person for food, money, or a home. Janet Njambi of Kahawa, Nairobi, Piranha, Cognac, and Leopard. You say AFC Leopards, not AFC Leopards. Leopard, Leopards. Eddie King, Affidavit, Lim, Miali, 
and sword. Don't say sword, don't say limb, don't say merely. It is a sword, S-W-O-R-D, merely, not merely, limb, not limb, and affidavit, not affidavit. Lona umolo over hero, proportionate, proportionate. And we go straight now to the surprise word for tonight. You say a mongrel or mongrel. Don't say mongrel. Many people say mongrel, but letter O takes the mid-central sound, a uh, mongrel or mongrel. Now, when we come to the confusing words, we have the word, the upper word is abate, to abate, that is to become less strong or to make something less strong. They waited for the storm to abate, or the storm showed no signs of abating. But the lower word is abet, to abet, to assist or encourage somebody to do something wrong. That is like when you say the watchmen have been charged with abetting the robbers, helping the robbers to commit a crime. Then when we come finally to the phonetic sounds, we have the short sound o, o, just like in full and pull, full and pull. The phonetic sound symbol or the phonetic symbol is right here, the short sound o. Then when we have this side, it is the long sound o, full and pull. And just because of time, from Kisumu, I would say bye, but remember, if you want to interact with me throughout the week, you can always go to my Twitter handle, and that is at Willis Ocheng one Back to you, Ashley. I'm just going um, to ask Jesse here if he can pronounce the word that was on the word on the street. Is it Brit Haliza? Did you hear that, Jesse? Brit Haliza. That was hilarious. Uh, well, uh, is it breathalyzer? <laughs> <laughs> One said breathalyzer. Breathalyzer. <laughs> well, I'm sure now they know because Will is the word master. Totally puts everything into perspective. Yes. I wish you could teach us how to dance, though. Oh, well, I'll do that on his behalf.